And joining us tonight is psychiatrist and financial review columnist Tanvir Ahmed and Emily Dye from GT Communications. Well, it has been quite a time inside Parliament House, as we'll see on many of the papers this evening. But our politicians definitely had their weepix before question time kicked off in Canberra earlier. It was a real matinee show, complete with numerology, storm outs, complaints about cow farts and an unfortunate Nazi scene that should have been left on the cutting room floor. Here's a quick recap. He was supposed to be nice, Leader Peter, of the Nationals. but he can't survive to five past two without resorting the to the old buffet. I know numbers aren't the Prime Minister's strong resume, suit. No, resume your seat. Resume your seat. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition has abused standing orders in a most grievous way and she will leave the chamber under 94A. Now maybe he can move on and answer the question. Resume your seat. Been... Resume your seat. Well, speaking of sexes, let's head now to the Victorian Parliament with The Age leading with the headline, Deeming Suffers Blow in Bid to Remain in the Liberal Ranks. It is the splash on the headline tomorrow and the story goes on to read that opposition leader John Pesuto has scored a significant victory in his bid to expel Moira Deeming from the Parliamentary Party over her involvement in an anti-trans rights rally with two-thirds of Liberal MPs rejecting an attempt to delay the vote to oust her. Uh, Emily, I'll start with you. This story now feels like it, it's spilled out from the weekend and we're now into what feels like day 755 of this story. What's your take on all of this, watching it as not only, you know, uh, as someone that is involved in the political sphere, but also as a young woman? Yeah, I, I tuned into Twitter uh, this weekend and saw that and was just like, no, nope. <laughs> not doing it today. <laughs> um, so now tuning in and seeing what's happening. I, I'm horrified. Why do we keep holding people accountable for things that other people say and do? And also, why mm. are we giving people that do a Nazi salute so much airtime and so much credibility? We've got a group of edgelords that are doing things in order to get attention, and we have given them all the attention they could possibly want and I find that incredibly frustrating. We don't need to be giving power to these people to let them undermine women's rights and undermine liberal senators or anyone for that matter uh, because they happen to be at the same protest. And something tells me, mm. you were talking about women's rights, I've got so much to say on this, um, that <laughs> these people don't care about women's rights at all. I think that we all know that the far right neo-Nazi crowd tend to be edgelords, they tend to be incels, they don't care about women's rights, they care about dominating, mm. they care about power, they care about taking advantage mm. of vulnerable groups. And I think in many ways women fall into that category. So it's very likely that they were there to disrupt, to get attention and to discredit mm. women's rights and not the other way around. Yeah, absolutely. 